Hello everyone, I am Dr. Drupti and welcome to my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. In today's video, let's learn about purine salvage pathway and lesh nahan syndrome. What is the meaning of salvage pathway? It is the metabolic pathway that recycle important intermediates from materials that would otherwise be waste products. So the purines that result from the normal turnover of nucleic acids or the small amount that is obtained from the diet and that is not degraded that can be converted to nucleoside triphosphate and used by the body. So this is referred as salvage pathway for purines. So the purines which are used or salvaged through this pathway are adenine, guanine and hypoxanthine. And this pathway is very important for the organs like brain and erythrocytes where the de novo synthesis of purine is not operative and this salvage pathway includes two important enzymes and PRPP is the starting material which is required for this pathway. So the first purine that is adenine it is salvaged and converted to AMP that is adenosine monophosphate by the action of enzyme adenine phosphoribosyl transferase. Guanine is converted to GMP by hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase and hypoxanthine is converted to IMP by hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase and in all these three reactions pyrophosphate is released and which is further degraded to form inorganic phosphate and this release of pyrophosphate make the reactions irreversible. So this purine salvage pathway it ensures the recycling of purines formed by degradation of nucleotides and PRPP is the starting material in this salvage pathway and this is very important for brain and erythrocytes. So now let's see the important disorder which is associated by the enzyme involved in the salvage pathway that is HGPRTase that is hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase and this lesh nahan syndrome it was described in 1964 by Michael Lesh, medical student and his teacher William Nahan and that's why the name is Lesh Nahan syndrome. So this syndrome is due to deficiency of enzyme hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. It is the X-linked recessive disorder. It is due to mutation in the HGPRT1 gene and at, as it is X-linked recessive only males are affected, females are just carriers. They don't display the characteristic feature of this lesh nahan syndrome. There is excessive uric acid production in this condition and this lesh nahan syndrome is associated with the triad of various abnormalities like neurological abnormalities, behavioral abnormalities and hyperuricemia. Now let's study more about this lesh nahan syndrome with the help of clinical case scenario. A 5 year old boy was brought to the hospital with chief complaints of aggressive behavior, developmental delay, learning disability and irresistible urge to bite his own fingers and nails. His serum uric acid level was found to be 11 mg per deciliter. The normal reference range is 3 to 7 mg per deciliter. The various questions that can be asked on this clinical scenario is first question is mention the probable diagnosis and justify it. Mention the cause of the disorder. Why serum uric acid level is raised in this disorder? Enumerate various characteristic features of the disorder. Explain the biochemical basis of characteristic clinical features of this disorder. Which investigations are required to diagnose the disease? And how can the patient be managed? So these are, these are the various questions which can be asked. Uh, on this particular clinical case scenario. So let's find out answers of all these questions. The first question is mention the probable diagnosis and justify it. The probable diagnosis here is Lesh Nahan syndrome and justification includes key points which are given in the case scenario like aggressive behavior of the boy, developmental delay and learning disability. These are the neurological Abnormalities seen in the Lesh Nahan syndrome and there is irresistible urge to bite his own fingers and nails and lips. So this is the self mutilation behavior which is the characteristic feature of behavioral abnormalities which are seen in Lesh Nahan syndrome. Now what are the key points 
on investigation which favor the this diagnosis that is there is hyperuricemia uric acid level is raised it is 11 mg per deciliter so these two important key points which are in the case scenario and on investigation favor the diagnosis of Leishnahan syndrome the next question is mention the cause of disorder what is the cause of disorder this is due to deficiency of enzyme hypoxanthin gone in phosphoribosyl transferase that is hgprt and it is due to mutation in the gene hgprt1 the third question is enumerate the characteristic clinical features of the disorder and we know there are triad of uh, clinical features in the, seen in this syndrome the first abnormalities or clinical features are neuro neurological abnormalities which begin before the age of 12 months then there are behavioral abnormalities which begin between 2 to 3 years and there is hyperuricemia the neurological abnormalities include mental retardation learning disability there can be aggressive behavior and irritability muscle tone is decreased which, which is called as hypotonia there can be dystonia also developmental delay is present all milestones are delayed poorly articulated speech is also characteristic feature of leishnahan syndrome now what are the behavioral or cognitive abnormalities so self mutilation behavior is seen there is irresistible urge of this patient to bite their own fingers nails and lips is seen and uh, this is called as self mutilation hyperuricemia is seen in these patients because there is increased uric acid production so orange sand like crystals of uric acid are seen in the diapers of affected infants and it is called as orange sand it leads to urate stones formation that is uh, sodium urate kidney stones which further leads to hematuria and patients are susceptible to urinary tract infection these urate stones can be deposited in the joints called as tophi and it leads to joint pain so these are the various characteristic clinical features seen in leishnahan syndrome the fourth question is why serum uric acid level is raised in this disorder and we know that in the salvage pathway hgprt is enzyme is important for formation of gmp from guanine and imp from hypoxanthin so if this enzyme is defective the prpp cannot be utilized that is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate which is involved in the purine synthesis so increase concentration of prpp will lead to more purine synthesis so if there is more purine synthesis there will be more purine degradation which leads to increase serum uric acid level as uric acid is the end product of purine degradation in addition to that the guanine and hypoxanthin level is also increased so there will be more production of uric acid and that's why serum uric acid level is raised in leishnahan syndrome the another important uh, mechanism is that there will be no formation of gmp and imp from guanine and hypoxanthin due to deficiency of uh, this enzyme and the gmp and imp they play a very important role in feedback regulation of purine biosynthesis so the purine biosynthesis is tightly regulated by the gmp and imp and if their concentration is decreased then that regulation is prohibited so this these are the two important reasons why serum uric acid level is raised in leishnahan syndrome so there is increased synthesis and degradation of purines which leads to increased serum uric acid level the first mechanism is hgprt is deficiency results in accumulation of prpp so there will be more purine synthesis and more purine degradation leading to increased uric acid decrease in the concentration of gmp and imp it leads to impairment in the tightly controlled feedback regulation of their production so that's why hyperuricemia is seen in leishnahan syndrome the fifth question is explain the biochemical basis of neurological and behavioral characteristic features of the disorder please note that hyperuricemia is not proposed as a possible mechanism the neurological and behavioral features are not due to increased uric acid production the mechanism behind this neurological uh, features is not clearly understood but as we know that brain is dependent on salvage pathway for purines de novo synthesis of purine cannot occur in brain so it is entirely dependent on the salvage pathway and purines are required for brain development 
specifically gtp is necessary for the activation of dopamine receptors and if there is hgprt deficiency it influences dopamine system particularly in the basal ganglia so it decreased dopamine receptor activation is proposed as the likely mechanism behind neurological and behavioral features seen in this disorder and this dopamine neural dysfunction in the basal ganglia leads to abnormal extra pyramidal neurological signs and behavioral abnormalities so this is the biochemical basis of neurological and behavioral features but exact mechanism is not still clear sixth question is which investigations are required to diagnose the disease so serum uric acid level should be estimated and there will be hyperuricemia high serum uric acid levels will be seen in the lechner syndrome 24 hour urinary uh, uric acid excretion should be estimated on x ray tophi can be found in the joints hgprt enzyme activity can be diminished and on the molecular genetic testing there will be hgprt gene mutation so these are the various investigations that are required to diagnose the lechner syndrome in addition to that thorough clinical evaluation and detailed patient history is also required the last question is how can the patient be managed what is the treatment available for lechner syndrome allopurinol can be given for hyperuricemia this drug it inhibits the enzyme xanthine oxidase but this doesn't have any effect on the neurological and behavioral symptoms because these symptoms are not due to hyperuricemia no drug therapy is effective for neurological problems for kidney stone extra corporeal shock wave lithotripsy is the treatment option behavior modification techniques are designed to reduce the self mutilating behavior seen in lechner syndrome so i hope this video on purine salvage pathway and lechner syndrome will be useful to you Thank you for watching and happy learning.